Hey there pirates, welcome aboard the Anime Nomi channel. With the current events in Egghead, we may see a major personality change coming from Kazaru, the powerful admiral of the marines. Being torn between helping his former comrades or following the orders of the marines, he is restraining himself to the maximum. There are many indications that Kazaru could switch sides in this battle, now wishing to follow his own ideals and desires, being the one who could allow Luffy and his companions to escape from the island of Egghead safely. In today's video, we will talk about the possibility of Kazaru freeing himself from these mental shackles he possesses, choosing to finally fight for his own objectives, opposing the Sakai Saifu, and seeking a free world through the legends of Nika. But folks, before we proceed with the video, I have a more important message to share with you here today. I want to talk to you about the method that teaches anyone to learn how to draw without having talent or gift, a method that I myself use to improve my techniques and is now available for free. Yes, Professor Noah William, he spoke to us and said that after the great success of the first version of his course, he decided to give a super free lesson, a premium lesson that, as you know, is worth over $500. And he's going to give this lesson for free. Not only that, he's going to give this masterclass to the subscribers here on the channel and also to other partners. And you just need to sign up to receive access and finally learn to draw anime and manga characters with an expert. You'll be able to draw without needing to copy. You'll be able to make Luffy finally defeating a Kainu, or if you're a fan of the Marines, make Buggy being captured. So all you have to do is access the link down below for more information and also find out how to register. Guys, Kizaru has a notably carefree personality and his approach to justice, which he himself describes as uncertain justice. These traits define not only his way of acting in combat, but also his attitude towards his role as Admiral of the Marines. Kazaru is known for his calm and carefree nature. Regardless of the seriousness of the situation, he faces challenges with an almost irritating tranquility, maintaining a calm tone of voice and a relaxed attitude. Even in battle, he rarely loses his composure, not raising his voice or showing excitement, which often makes him frustratingly difficult for his opponents to read. His carefree personality manifests itself in various ways. He is prone to lapses of distraction and carelessness, such as repeatedly speaking into a black den den mushi, intended for clandestine listening or causing widespread destruction without caring about the consequences. He often seems uninterested in his own safety, ignoring surprisingly powerful attacks as if they posed no threat at all. In terms of justice, Kazaru adopts a lazy and uncommitted approach, following orders without questioning and considering himself just a cog in the machine. His uncertain justice reflects his willingness to operate in a gray area between moral justice and absolute justice, allowing him greater freedom in his actions. He does not show the same moral devotion as other admirals like Aokiji and Fujitora, but he is also not as extreme as Akainu or Ryokugyu in his pursuit of justice. Despite his carefree nature, Kizaru is not devoid of honor, especially in battle. He may show respect for powerful opponents or those close to him, but this rarely extends to pirates, whom he views with disdain and does not hesitate to punish mercilessly. Overall, Kizaru's personality stands out as that of a character who, though carefree and unconventional, still possesses a distinct sense of purpose and a unique way of interpreting his role as Admiral of the Marines. Kizaru is a character who lacks personal motivation to fight. Unlike many characters who have their own ambitions or goals, Kizaru seems to have no personal motive for his actions. He simply follows the orders of the Sakai Seifu and the Marines, even if he does not agree with them. His only goal seems to be to complete the missions assigned to him, acting as if he were just a tool to fulfill the greater objectives of the Marines. This lack of personal motivation makes him an intriguing character, as he seems to be devoid of any desire or ambition of his own, acting purely out of duty and responsibility. This creates an interesting dynamic, as despite his carefree and indifferent nature, he is capable of performing extremely dangerous and decisive actions when necessary, showing that, despite his apparent lack of motivation, he is highly competent and committed to his responsibilities as Admiral of the Marines. In the current arc, after his defeat by Luffy on the island of Egg head, it is possible that he undergoes a significant transformation in his perspective and motivation to fight. So far, Kizaru has always followed the orders of the Sakai Saifu and the Marines without questioning, acting as a cog in the machine and carrying out his missions without a clear personal goal. However, 
the presence of his former friends and important people to him on the island of Egghead, such as Vegapunk, Kuma, Bonnie, and Sentamaru, could lead Kizaru to rethink his values and desires. Currently, the Marines, CP0, and the five Gorusei are on Egghead Island with the aim of taking the lives of these people, as well as the Straw Hats who are there to protect them. Finding himself in a situation where he is fighting against people who were once close to him, it is possible that Kazaru will begin to question his ideals and his loyalty to the Marines. The protection of his old friends could become a new goal for him, leading him to reconsider his role as a Marine Admiral and perhaps even to switch sides, fighting against those he once considered allies. After Kizaru's defeat by Luffy on Egghead Island, he may realize Luffy's true identity as Nika, the deity responsible for bringing freedom to the world. Kuma, one of Kizaru's old friends in the past, taught him about the existence, his great role he will play in the world, and the power of Nika, which is now in Luffy's possession. With the complete awakening of Nika's power, Luffy was able to defeat Kazaru, which may lead Kazaru to understand that Luffy is the current Joy Boy of this era, destined to overthrow the Sekai Seifu and restore a new peaceful balance to the world. This revelation could lead to a radical change in Kazaru's ideals. Until now, he has always followed the orders of the Sekai Seifu and the Marines, without question, acting according to the uncertain justice, and carrying out his missions indifferently. However, realizing that Luffy is the bearer of Nika's power and the catalyst for the change he represents, Kizaru could begin to question his values and loyalty. The understanding that Luffy is the key to the world's liberation and the restoration of a new peaceful balance could lead Kizaru to join him and the Straw Hats on their journey. He could abandon his role as a Marine Admiral and become an ally in the fight against the tyranny of the Sekai Seifu, seeking a world where true freedom and justice prevail. This twist in Kizaru's story could transform him from a seemingly indifferent character into a valuable ally in the quest for a better world. With the discovery that Luffy is the incarnation of Nika and the bearer of the power, capable of bringing freedom to the world, Kizaru may finally find a significant personal reason to fight. By realizing that his old friends and allies, such as Vegapunk, Kuma, Bonnie, and Sentamaru, are in danger at the hands of the Sakai Seifu, and that Luffy is the key to protecting them and restoring hope in the world, Kizaru may decide to abandon the Marines and fight for his own ideals. By making this choice, Kizaru would be choosing to think for himself and follow what he believes is right, rather than simply following orders. He could join Luffy and the Straw Hats on their journey, fighting against the tyranny of the Sekai Seifu and seeking a world where freedom and true justice prevail. With his decision to leave the Marines and fight for his ideals alongside Luffy and the Straw Hats, Kizaru could play a crucial role in the current Egghead arc. By directly opposing the Gorusei, the Marines, and the CP0, he could provide a crucial opportunity for the Straw Hats and their allies to escape from the island. His presence and actions could be essential in distracting and confronting the enemies, allowing the others to escape safely. This final act of sacrifice by Kizaru would not only demonstrate his change of heart and his new ideals, but could also be his last act of life, as he would be going against powerful and dangerous forces. By sacrificing himself for his friends and the ideals he believes in, Kizaru could leave a significant legacy and a great impact on the journey of the Straw Hats, helping to drive the fight for freedom and justice. His decision to leave the Marines and fight alongside his friends and allies, even if it means sacrificing his own life, would be a way of showing that he has truly changed his way of thinking, and that in his last moments of life, he dedicated his hopes to the world he believed Nika could be able to create. Furthermore, Kizaru's change could have significant repercussions in the world of One Piece, triggering a new wave of changes and revolutions. His opposition to the Gorusei, the Marines, and the CP0 could inspire others to rise up against oppression and tyranny, giving hope to those who fight for a better world and could even lead more sailors to join the sword. In the end, Kizaru's story could serve as a powerful reminder that even though Kizaru initially did not have a great goal, acting only through the orders of his superiors, he was still able to change his ideals and fight for what he believes. That's a wrap for today's content. We hope you enjoyed it and want to share your thoughts on the subject. Don't forget to share the video, give it a thumbs up, and catch you in the next video. Take care and stay awesome.